Hello guys, this is uh, Frenzy Penguin. This is my first episode and I've chosen Kerbal Space Program because a few months ago they've updated to uh, officially completed mode, uh, let's say they, they've uh, left alpha and, and beta of course. Um, and uh, I'm going to do some contracts in career mode. So here uh, we are designing a ship that I would like to see go suborbital because I have some tourists as you can see here. Um, so I have uh, Valentina as my pilot because right now there is also a female version of the Kerbals here in Kerbin, at Kerbin. We're going to take off with this um, specially winged uh, ship of mine, my plane, and let's hope it's a split, space plane also. But there goes something wrong because I activated my um, space engines immediately, so as always, this is a, a typical mistake of mine, forgetting the staging. So there we go for another try with my plane. Valentina is at the in the cockpit, and we have Airfrat and Lemal Kerman as uh, our little tourists uh, that um, are in the contract. I accepted. I hope I do not regret accepting that uh, contract. Anyway, the contracts are as follows: these guys are um, stupid little kerbals with no function. They um, simply do not exist in terms of uh, game engine wise. Anyway, they want to get suborbital, and um, I'm hoping suborbital is around 20,000, 30,000, but I'm afraid it's at 70,000 meters. Whoa, do I fuck up again? Yes, I do. Anyway, this. Time. I'm not going to sit through the whole crash. Look at the face of Valentina in the meanwhile. She's like really enjoying this uh, ride. <laughs> Alright, this is the last try. I hope this time I can uh, take off properly with my um, stealth winged booing whatever. So yeah, finally, we've taken off. Valentina is really enjoying this and we're going to get to some altitude. I've tried to have one uh, space engine at the complete rear of the plane, but um, one space engine was clearly not enough to uh, get some, some trust going. So um, this is what I've come up with uh, engine setup. completely at the outside two jet engines in the middle as well and let's hope that those two space en engines are uh, suf sufficient here we go they look to give give me a boost we're above uh, above uh, 10,000 meters right now so um, looks like we're going to get that contract right now it's about right here I think yeah let's see that contracts still not nothing going on but um, I'm, I'm hoping my my engines oxygen breathing ones are getting enough oxygen to keep on go oh there they go fuck so we've lost all engines but the space engines it's sucking up all the oxidizer but we're still going up 20,000 meters right now uh, I'm not getting any control anymore they're not centered. The space engines are not centered, they're beneath the wings, so... I'm having an issue controlling this at 23 kilometers high. I'm not sure what the tourists think, I think they're very Yeah, they're really scared. Certainly spinning around like that. Anyway, I give up and... Um, Instead of just quitting, let's try to get those uh, tourists back in their failed attempt to get suborbital. It was a nice try, though. 
where we're not so far off for just a simple almost stock uh, buoying. So we shut down those uh, space uh, engines but I still have no oxygen to get to my normal jet engines. I'm, I'm getting air breathing things because uh, of, of all my wings. There are like little... F oh, there we go. 15,000 meters and we're getting back some uh, oxygen to the engines. I'll speed it up a, l a little. Otherwise this, this clip is going to take forever, so double the time and let's get those turrets back safe home Valentina let's do this um, this is going to be a, an example of my terrible terrible landing yeah this is going to suck bad I'm sorry um, but nevertheless I will get my ship on the ground that's the purpose that's where we're what we're going for so um, I, I guess uh, getting tourists in space is not going to happen by a, by a, a plane, we have to do it differently. We'll see more about that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, come on, man. I totally forgot about trust, so getting some engines on again. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, we're getting there. Anyway, in the meanwhile, while I'm landing, I would like to uh, ask you if you have Origin or Steam and, and like to play some multiplayer games, to add me as your friend. On Origin you can uh, get me as Frenzy Penguin, just like the name here, and on Steam you have Frenzy Penguin and Putty Putty. And if you're Dutch speaking, uh, this website, itgindegame.nl, is like a really nice clan to play together with. Yeah, that's what I uh, wanted to promote to you. Anyway, the conclusion of this fucking flight is those tourists are not getting in space or experience, experiencing uh, weightlessness through this um, method. So, let's try through a missile, no, a, uh, a rocket, sorry. So, we need to get as many uh, people as possible in um, this new rocket, um, and they do not have a function, so this hitchhiker storage thingy is like getting a function in this new version of a uh, Kerbal Space Program. Let's speed up things and enjoy the music. Double speed. I really like that tune quicker. Anyway, this missile needs to go up fast, but I do not have the engines uh, that I need yet. And oh, I just put up those thrusters really bad on the attachments, but I will get to that later, I hope. I do not forget that. Anyway, um, so I have not everything. I need to get uh, some more, s more science points. You see a, a heat shield over there, because I'm not getting this back into the atmosphere otherwise. Yeah, that's like a, an escape system, but I'm not using it on this model right now. So it's becoming a, a weird kind of pyramid, I guess. And with this pyramid and some extra thrusters on the side and fixing the thrusters right now. Some more struts after the boosters being fixed on the sidelines. We're ready to get this thing uh, up and going. As always, uh, I will forget. I will completely forget my stages, I guess. Tourist 1, yes. Tourist one that will get my tourists where they need to be. And by that we will get some nice points, I think some signs as well, and uh, of course some reputation. NASA tourist flights. Well not NASA, just 
old fashioned frenzy penguin spaceways or something. Alright, making sure that Jebediah is uh, <laughs> in the right position, and there we go. Alright, I'll speed up things and see that I get the most important parts for you. As you see, going way too fast, losing a lot of Delta V there. First stage, successful. You're still scared. Only Jebediah is enjoying the ride. Why are you fucking space tourist if you're like afraid? Anyway, at the left up, you can see that I'm uh, having two second stage that went weird, but okay. There are new physics systems and new ways of uh, interacting with airflow. Um, so you're uh, some planes fly better, um, some, and also space flight as is having some issues, or I have to adapt. In a way, it's getting difficult. Yeah, more difficult to get out of uh, out in in space. Good. We're at like forty thousand meters soon, and I'm like really hoping the tourists are getting uh, satisfied with the flight and and saying, "Hey, Jebediah, return." But uh, it's not happening yet. So let's see if I get some uh, science out of uh, here. Jebediah stepping out for a second. Getting some science. Oh, precious science. Fine. Anyway, as you can see, we're almost at the top and we're not reaching space. I have some issues, I guess, with uh, trusting them up. Let's try again. <coughs> sad, sad story. So after trying again and rebuilding with uh, one extra fuel um, to the, the main uh, thruster in the middle, as you can see, we will try again, and this time I feeling the need to check if Jebediah is in the, right, in the right seat. We'll just take off and see some scared little tourists. So with four tourists in the hitchhiker storage container, we're getting up. Oh, those boosters are not going to get some uh, recovery. Oh, I'm not having that mod installed. Let's see him curse soon. Anyway. Let's get the last stage separated. This time we are already at the 40,000 meter mark. So 40 kilometers high. And one again, once again, I don't get that weight move of my stage falling off. Right, is there still some science to collect? A soup to two? There is sadly not much science to collect. Anyway, let's hope for the tourists then. We're uh, almost at 70,000 meter, 70 kilometer. Tourists, are you happy? Are you happy? Oh, I see Cor Hat or whatever his name is applauding, I think. Anyway, we have it. Alright, nice. So, a uh, tree of my. Um, Kerbals, Kerbal tourists are uh, satisfied with this um, strange um, ship, which we will return to Earth right now. As you can see, my satellites are just uh, I just begun scanning the uh, surface. I'm hoping to get some signs out of that too, because everything is very important. Important uh, economics. It's not just building your ship; it's also thinking of uh, getting it uh, not. Yeah, not too expensive, but still somehow cool looking. I don't know. Here we go. Um, I've just noticed my electric charge was running out, sadly. So I'm using RCS to compensate and uh, keeping... Oh, this is still always a scary part. Oh. They've made it harder, by the way. Getting into the atmosphere is really a tough thing. You need the heat shield. I'm not sure if it's a mod or just a regular editing uh, 
tool, but I, I enlarged the, the, the small scaled heat shield here and got it up to 1.25 meters. And there we are, safe with tourists, satisfied about their journey, and I hope I've got oh, a lot of points because of this. Let's get back. Recover. So, it went well. I've got some points. 102 science. Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do with that. What's up with that, by the way? Recovering all the debris from the launch site one by one. Just to remove all could be good as well. Alright, cleaning the contracts I just discovered. And let's see what I can do with the science in the tech tree. I think I will go for some extra um, rockets and um, some engines so that I've got more trust going up. Yeah, let's choose that. And for contracts then, um, some more ferrying of VIPs. Yeah, those are nice. I really like those. Nah, some of them, like the science data from space is really cool because then I can get some extra points for science I already did. Yeah, let's go for that one. I really hate the visual survey ones because they take like a certain attitude and sometimes are very difficult to manage. Anyhow, I think... and. I think it was a successful mission, so never change a winning team, they say. Maybe. Well, yeah, we should remember it about never changing a winning team. I think about budget here. I think about a better engine there and a very smoother way, just the cockpit, to return to, uh, to Kerbin and also to transport some extra passengers, so to get some tourists up in space. Uh, some science parts because you saw I got that contract to uh, make sure that I uh, got some uh, extra points. And let's get the parachutes over there just next to the ablative shield. Let's hope that's close enough. And yeah, as I got stuck without electric charge, let's add one. Also, ah, maybe RCS treasures wouldn't have been a bad idea. Anyway. Let's hope uh, I can get these tourists safe back. We have Korhat, who is flying with Jebediah right now, and then Fernandez, if I can. Yeah, Fernandez, who is also a um, very tough tourist wanting to see Kerbin from a higher location, from, from away in space. As usual, the only one enjoying. Oh no, Corhead is really enjoying. That's cool. Uh, here I've um, oversteered a little and lost control of the vehicle. But if you quickly change and adapt, you can uh, overcome. But that means I will have less fuel. Oh no. Is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. We will get those guys here in space. So I've waited and waited, and um, I'm thinking, not sure though, that those tourists I'm having here are part of a group because we're bo above 70 kilometers and they're still like, what the fuck, just waiting. So we're um, hoping that um, if we take some other tourists, that we can uh, combine them. Those turrets are uh, enjoying at least the uh, Kerbin views. Let's speed up. Good tunes. Okay, anyway, it looks retarded, by the way, just the cockpit with an ablade if, uh, with a heat shield, but uh, we're completely going for it, recharging the batteries and returning to our beloved 
did you see how high I went by the way? So it was really cost efficient. I really had a better engine and less weight, but let's hope this uh guy can survive the drop down. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry guys. I've um I have bad news. Or I've um completely blown away the parachutes with this um, hard entry that's possible or I clicked the um, yeah I clicked the parachute buttons too early I think they've completely burned off with other words there is nothing to stop this idiot retard cockpit to um, land in the water there I tried it there is nothing to keep those guys yeah and maybe they overheated as well so they should be closer as I said before never change a winning team but um, I sadly did with this one uh, we're at the end of the video I um, forgot to uh, well I saved over the previous ship so bad news as well the previous team is no more. I hope you liked um, watching me. I'm uh, currently rage quitting Kerbal Space Program. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it as I said before. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on Frenzy Penguin and the red button below. Bye bye.